Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org. Coming to you this Tuesday morning, December 6th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. Kind of getting to a crossroads as to what maybe the rest of this month uh, can provide. As, uh, when we get to the charts, you'll see that as we're tightening up here on whether we're going to attempt to continue um, above to get to, uh, to September's high, maybe higher, or give this up and take out last week's low. Pre-market right now in SPY, 400.77, 399.07 is the low, so pretty tight range. As you can see, we went out with a double distribution day. Look where we spent all night in the ES, back and forth between the two distributions. I'm in four tick increments. I'm not sure how wide that is, but it's got to be pretty wide. So right off the bat, this is going to help determine... Um, which short-term direction we're going to get. If we get acceptance and uh, in the lower distribution, we should take out yesterday's low and take back the rest of the trend day from November 30th, which then puts last week's low in jeopardy. If, however, we get into the upper distribution, obviously we take back yesterday's trend day, and then the next big job for the bulls is to take out yesterday's high to put the daily back into balance. Right? On then and only then can we start attempting to tackle September's high again. And that would also put us above 4,000. Um, we're closer to the 20-day moving average than we are to the 200 now after yesterday. So again, a lot riding on the line here um, in these coming days. As far as a game plan, well, I don't think we'll, ba uh, we'll battle between both distributions all day. So at some point we should get hopefully some clarity which would mean we either get acceptance above the overnight high and start tackling the upper distribution. And then in that case, I'd be looking for longs uh, throughout the day most likely and use H is low, which is the bottom end of the low upper distribution is the out. On the flip side, if we start playing inside of the lower distribution from M's high down, then again, I'd be looking for shorts to take out yesterday's low. And you can either take, even take shorts again against M's high, which is the upper end of the lower distribution, right? Those would be the plays until this battle is resolved. Um, if we take out uh, the overnight low, odds are you're going to get yesterday's low at some point and finally take back the rest of this trend day. Again, if you're in the room, you're getting this live, uh, live webinar as this is happening. And then just quickly on the chart. So here's, here's the thing. We talk about coming to a crossroads. Well, here's, look at this. Doesn't get any tighter than this. We've had lower highs all year on the weekly. That's your all-time high, this one, this one, and now possibly this one, okay? We never got to September's high. Got close to it, which is right here, but we never took it out. Now, this is from our, our yearly low. Again, at some point, now again, one line, you know, if we get below this line, doesn't mean the end of the world. If we get above it, does it mean, you know, the skies open up and everything's great, right? One day, one week doesn't make a market. But what I'm trying to say is, as far as our directional move for December, it's going to become important because if we start coming down here, odds are we take out a weekly low, maybe three weekly lows, and then just come into balance and then the rally that I was possibly expecting to take out this August high will go out the window. On the flip side, if we're able to hold this and take out last week's high at some point, this still becomes a viable option if we get acceptance above September's high. And it's the same thing on the daily, right here. This is, I mean, I only have it back to April, but here's your succession of lower highs. Did we put one in three days ago? Remains to be seen. And this is from our yearly low. So again, if we get below that and get below the 20, we're going to be taking out a weekly low. And then again, the odds of taking out this August high go down dramatically. Good luck trading today. Have a great day. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.